Hello everybody, right here we have real money. They stopped making this in 1964. The silver was starting to cost too much money to produce this. Shortly after, we got off the gold standard. We're going to talk about the price of fuel in 1964, how much people made, how much people make now, how much the price of fuel is now, and the silver to gold ratio then and now, and try and correlate what we can do, the best that we can do to predict when silver will explode. See you in a little bit. As we started 2022, you know, Biden shut down our own pipeline. Why did he, bite, why did he do this, okay? Because he wanted to, to trade with Russia. He wanted to get oil from Russia. In one year, the one year amount of, of oil that we get from Russia, we can get that in two days from our own pipeline, folks. There's a lot more resources in Canada. We can make a deal with Canada. You see, right now, he just cut us off because two months ago he cut off the pipeline and now Russia and Ukraine are at war. We are living off of our, our reserves. That's it. That's right. Um, we're on our reserves right now and uh, the oil prices, the gas prices are going up like 10 cents a day. Now, as you know, when Biden first uh, came to office, he wanted to push green energy, EVs. So they're saying by in the next nine years, 17% of all our vehicles would be EVs. Well, what are those batteries made out of? Lithium. Yeah, that's right. So what happened last week in northern Minnesota? They shut down the lithium and cobalt mines. Dude, what are you doing? Seriously, you're, you're just the worst person in the world, man. You're cutting off all of our energy. Okay? We can't get oil. We can't get lithium to do what you want. You're just cutting us all off. And what's going to happen? You're going to find out real soon. The prices are going to go to the moon. You're going to cause a crash. Thanksgiving 2022 is end game. I already did a video on this. That's it, folks. Work your ass off. Make as much money as you can. Prepare. When my company goes out of business in Thanksgiving 2022, I'm going to the, the desert in Arizona, and I'm going to... If I can't find anything for months, I don't care. I'm going to find gold because there's nothing else that I can do. There will be no jobs out there to get. To you know, We have all of this to back ourselves on. This stuff's going to be worth three times what it is right now. I have a lot of conviction. When we're in a crisis like that, silver saves. Okay? No oil for us. The prices of silver, uh, price of oil is skyrocketing. Okay? Eventually, it's going to get over five dollars. When it gets to around five to five twenty an ounce, uh, a, a gallon, silver will uncontrollably explode. It'll just go berserk and go off the charts. Let's do a little math right now. Now, this is a chart that is based on the national average of gasoline from from the nineteen twenties all the way to the eighties. But we're targeting this zone right here we still had silver as our money okay 1948 was the last time you could get a gallon of fuel for 25 cents In 1964 the price of fuel inflated to 30 cents which was a little higher people were making around 250 to 1150 an hour depending on the skill of your job of your profession okay back then they didn't have a lot of things to pay for like cell phones uh, internet 
We have a lot of other things that we have monthly payments on. You need to understand that back in 1964, one man could run the household. That's right. And our culture was much different back in 1964 as it is now and has been lost. Now it's like a two-income uh, family now. And the, the culture be, for family is starting to diminish. Besides that, I'm not a psychologist right now. We're talking about money here. So back then, how much was the price of gold? It was $35.50. When we have 1964 quarters, it was the last year that they made silver quarters, silver dimes, silver half dollars, okay? The price of silver was $1.30 an ounce, okay? It was getting a little too expensive to make silver quarters and other denominations as well. So then, in 1965, they changed that, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. We'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. 1964, the price of silver, $1.30. The price of gold, what was that, $35.50. You divide those two together, you get about 27 to 1. That is the gold to silver ratio. So the gold to silver ratio in 1964 is 27 to 1. But we had a little bit of an inflated price of gasoline. Um, our GDP was much different then than it is now. We have a lot more variables. Um, gold and silver was not an asset back then. It was our money. It became an asset after 1971 when we got off the gold standard. Okay, um, But gold started to rise after the New Deal in 1933. It went from $20 to 35 It kind of stayed flatline for quite a while. We still made silver, cord, silver coins here. Okay, So now we go to 2022. Uh, we've had gold to silver ratio, what, 118 to 1. Right now, we're about 76 to 1. Um, with, the, with the crisis happening, gold's going to the moon. Silver just hasn't quite gotten there. But I'm telling you, it's going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon. So we need to break this down, folks. So the price of silver for that quarter to get 30 cents worth of fuel, I mean, probably 18 cents is what that silver quarter actually probably 21 cents is what the silver had it back then now we're at four dollars and 92 cents for that quarter four dollars 92 cents for the just the silver in that quarter i know these quarters go for about 5.75 right now okay and uh i believe that when the price of fuel gets to around say 520 somewhere in that range this is what I feel. I feel like this is going to start start getting this ratio tightened. Okay, that's almost three to one, folks. Almost three to one. I mean, th I mean three times is what I mean. Three x. Um, we need another about a dollar twenty right now. Right now in Minnesota, we're at three ninety nine. Pretty much everywhere you're at, it's going up about ten cents a day right now. We're off. We're living off of our reserves. We have no oil being imported in right now. Okay. Um, the only variable that we would need is the Supreme Court to pass a bill that we need to sign from the president that instates that we need to open up the pipeline, which will relax the prices of fuel. If that does not happen and our gas gets this high, I'm seeing silver is going to go to the moon. Now only about 1% of the people out there understand the importance of gold and silver to protect themselves. They want to buy digital illusions of wealth. They want to put money into Bitcoin. They want to put it into Shiba. They want to put it into stocks. That They're crashing right now, folks. They're crashing right now. Cryptos, I mean, they can put a virus into there and wipe it all out. They can just, take a, they can just turn it all off. It uses one-fifth of the electricity needed in the world. We're in an energy crisis, folks. It's not good to be in cryptos. And people are doing all these videos, trying to make money on the cryptos, and they're like baffled, like, oh, it's collapsing. Why? Oh, well, yeah, because you're not into our field, dude. This is a small niche. Only 1% of the people out there collect silver and gold. We understand. We're smart. Okay? This protects ourselves. We're not going to be rich, but we're going to be protected. Because when I see silver like this, you know what I see? I see a loaf of bread. I see eggs. 
I see a pair of shoes. That's what I see with this stuff. When times get so bad, this is our stuff. This is our money. This is what matters. Food, clothes, warmth. This is what I see. That's what silver represents for me. So what happened after 1964? I promised I'd come back to this. 1965 comes around. Now this is your money. This was our money in 1964 and older. And then this. We get clad. People are like, what is this crap? Worthless. I don't want this. I want this. Now, a lot more than 1% of the people back then, we had this transition, were storing this. They were pulling their clad. They were pulling their clad out of tills and swapping it out with silver. A lot of people did that back in 1965, all the way up into the early 70s, pulling it out of circulation. Now this stuff's really hard to find. You can still find half dollars pretty abundantly, in my opinion, uh, coin roll hunting, but finding quarters, that's really, really tough. Basically, in 1964, people were making around 250 an hour. That was their well, kind of the low end, you know. Now, like, people are about 25, 26 is kind of low. I mean, you know, they're hiring at 15 an hour at McDonald's for crying out loud. I mean, I remember when I was washing dishes for four and a quarter, that was minimum wage. Um, as you can see, people need more money. Um, even getting those higher wages, it's not enough to deal with the inflation. Now, how are you going to get silver to $100 an ounce? You can Google this, okay? Inflation needs to be in the double digits. Guess what? We're at 13%. Oil is going berserk. The feds are raising rates. There's going to be at least three more rate hikes. This is going to cause a collapse in the housing market. It's coming. That's why I say Thanksgiving 2022 is end game. If you have not figured out what you're going to do by then, you're on your own. If you don't have, if you're not prepared, you're going to be living under a bridge, so to speak. I'm a man that I'm a survivor. I'm going to go. I'm, I, I, I get berserk i get crazy i will go to the i will go to arizona just so i can feed my family my family's number one i'm putting money on the table we got this stuff and a lot of you are out there as well and i know i'm talking crazy i'm talking crazy because crazy times are here crazy times are here i get desperate do you understand that what's going through your head right now silver is so important Gold is so important. Only 1% of us, and if, and if you're watching this, you are part of that 1%. If you're watching this, you are super smart and need to apply that information. Silver will have its time. It is coming so fast. You need to prepare yourself. And I, and I, and I hope you guys like this video. I hope this spreads across so many people, and I hope you guys share this video. Please like this video. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know when my new videos come out because they're starting to get really interesting, folks. All this stuff is bottling up inside of me and I just need to let it out. Silver is going to have its time, folks. It's going to have its time. This stuff's junk. That stuff's real. Real money, folks. See you next time.